You. You're a member of the Dark Brotherhood. How dare you show yourself here, murderer? I will slay you where you stand. Guards, seize this traitorous murderer! Heard about that, did you? Yes, I went out for a pint or two. What up? You are a traitor, a murderer. There is nothing else that can be said. Everyone has to answer their crimes. You answer yours to me. You killed the person who was leading my country. The man who was my father's friend. And you dare say you did it for the Empire? Do you mean this is an insult? You. This is... It's not wrong, but... Emperor Titus. He wasn't strong enough. When the Thalmor came the second time with the White Gold Concordat. He wasn't strong enough when the crowns of Hammerfell left the Empire. He wasn't strong enough when the nobles killed each other, neglected the civilians' lives in High Rock. Perhaps... Perhaps you're right. He was a good man. A good friend to my father. But even he wasn't able to help the Empire. Forgive? My forgiveness no longer matters. Emperor Titus is dead. And a strong leader, as you may have wished, has taken his throne. Julius Mead, the butcher and warmonger, is now the Emperor. Oh. His what reign happened? is possible. Thanks to you. I don't know. He may be a brutal killer, but he's still my liege. And I'll be damned if I allow you to kill another Emperor. Truly? I think it would be a mistake. But someone has to make sure you aren't going to commit evil deeds against the people and the country. Fine. I will join your journey. But you better not make me regret it. Because otherwise... You will know what it means to fight a Salvian. Just say the word when you're ready to travel with me. Oh, what happened? It's a good day for adventuring. You know spring lady, don't you? I can tell. <sighs> it's a good day for adventuring. What do you want to know? I came from Coral. Where my family's seat of power is at. The wealthiest city of Cyrodiil, second only to the capital itself. I'm here in Skyrim due to my duty as a legionnaire, but right now I am on a break from my duties, so I can explore Skyrim on my own. This has been most fascinating. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always been enthralled by the ancient Nordic legends. Not just Cyrodiil, but all of the Empire. While the other cities such as Anvil and Chadenhall declined and withered, Coral grew stronger. The economic success of my home was a miracle to many, but to those who made it happen, it was the fruit of hard work and careful planning. My father, Amulius, was among those who turned Coral from an ordinary town to a city that rivals the capital itself. Not officially, while my parents are influential in Coral, House Vici rules the city, and my sister Cassandra is married to Coral's Count. Count Vici is a decent man himself, but he does not know a thing about governing. Usually, he just defers political matters to my sister, the Countess. This has, of course, displeased the other members of the Vici family. Even if they aren't vocal about it, it is just known among everyone. My heart aches for my sister. 
She's only trying to help her husband and his family, but instead of gratitude, what she earned was distrust. Sometimes I wonder how our families manage to maintain their alliance. Perhaps the power of mutual interest exceeds that of bitter resentment. Heroes with unmatched strength, whose wisdom and skill led them to victory. Patriots who defended their homeland and kinsmen no matter the cost. Imagine a single man standing in a battlefield, torn by war machines and armies against a whole army of snow elves. But he is unmoved by the thundering sound of their march, nor their cry for war and bloodshed. He stood ready, embracing a champion's death. He cleaves down dozens of elven invaders with his fallen comrade's battle axe until a strike from the enemy's general finally took him. And the man knew this moment would come when he dies protecting his homeland, when his ancestors and comrades welcome him to the feast in Sovngarde. This is why I adore Nordic legends. Honor, family, sacrifice, comradeship the elements of the true heroes. Apologies, but I don't really want to talk about this. For now, at least. Maybe later, after we've known each other more. My mother was a princess of Daggerfall before the Blanchet Rebellion and a powerful sorceress. She chose to give up her land and titles after my father won the war for her to marry him and follow him to Cyrodiil. As for my father, Amulius, he is the High Chancellor of the Elder Council and the Eighth Champion of Cyrodiil. Now, don't be intimidated by these titles. Once you've heard them for as many times as I have, they sound only natural. That's only because you have never met them. Now, titles are empty. Deeds are what matter. And I know for certain that my parents are admirable heroes of the Empire. I'm glad that you chose to join the Empire's cause. Mm-hmm. <laughs>